Hi Pisces, it's Karen and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Pisces. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. Okay, the first two cards we have for awareness, we have the judgment card, major arcana, and we have the ace of swords. So with judgment, you can see the angel here blowing the horn and the children are looking up and greeting really, or listening to the fanfare. And so when we see judgment in a reading, judgment is the call to you to take the time to judge or to take stock of what's go on, going on in your life, where you've been, what you're doing, what you hope to do in the future. When we see judgment, we often think about second chances. We think about rebirth, a reawakening, and we reawake, we, <laughs> we reawaken as a result of, of gaining knowledge about ourselves, of thinking about what's gone before, where we are now. And so with this sense of judgment, you can see that it looks like they're coming out of the water. There's an idea of, uh, of a cleansing, a ritual cleansing so that, you know, you're, you're not punished for what happened before. You're able to start fresh and judgment can happen at any age where we feel that maybe we can do something else to help us reach, you know, what the universe has designed for us, our true purpose, our highest self, time for second chances, allowances for rebirth for restructuring. And here's the Ace of Swords right next to judgment. And the Ace of Sword brings clarity, brings um, smart thinking and analysis. And it brings really the truth, the search for truth. This sharp blade will uh, allow you to cut through everything to get to the heart of the matter, to get to the truth. And with the Ace of Swords, again, um, focusing on really what is there, the evidence, the facts, doing the, the thinking to look at all sides of an issue. So if you're thinking about making big changes in your life, you know, you may feel the call, you may feel it within your heart, but there also needs to be some smarts attached to that as well, which is you have to maybe think through the process the decision-making process, strategizing, problem-solving. With ACEs, it's a gift or blessing from the universe, and that gift or blessing is to think uh, perhaps in innovative or new, new ways, to develop new approaches, to come up with new business ideas, uh, to manifest or create new ways for you to have better relationships. So we have this chance to reach our highest self, and behind that, it's pretty strong of having the Ace of Swords, which is barreling you right through to the truth and to the facts and really what's going on. The truth of the matter, the truth of your desire to, for a rebirth, for a second chance. So in terms of guidance, We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. And those are two eight cards. And it's always interesting to see eights because if I recall correctly, the Strength card is also eighth, eight. And so these eight in the suits go to how we use strength in order to uh, move about within our life and face situations. And so... The Eight of Pentacles is the hard work and the focus that you've been putting in to your, either your relationship or to your career or to your hobbies or to your dreams or goals. This is a skilled person who has talents and abilities, who's focused, doing the detail work, proud of what he or she is accomplishing. So you're putting in a lot of energy, you're focused, you're dedicated. The work is going to pay off for you. 
this may be a week where maybe you get a little extra training or something or, or um, online training to help improve your skill set. And then the Eight of Swords, interesting card. Here's the Eight of Pentacles working away, toiling away, deep focus, concentration. Could be tedious work. It could be um, very skillful work that requires close attention. And then the Eight of Swords, which is feeling bound up, which is feeling restricted. And that you feel that maybe you can't get out of a situation. And so you can see she's blindfolded. She's bound. Behind her are the swords. And often this is a, it's, it's a card where perhaps our doubts helped restrict us and maybe lead us to negative thinking. Uh, this card could also be that someone else is really keeping, uh, I would say oppressive, it's such a heavy word, but could keeping you in a restricted place or, or setting boundaries for you. But really, there's, there's a sense here of unable to move forward, unable to see how to move forward. You may need support. You may need a hand in helping to take that first step. So maybe it's not a good idea to talk to someone to try to at least be in a position to strip off this blindfold. But you're feeling trapped. You may be feeling restricted and unable to take that first step. So let's see what we have in terms of possible outcomes. So in possible outcomes, we have the Tower, Major Arcana, and we have the Five of Cups. And so the tower is, it's another big shift card. It's a card of restructuring, of transformation, of a foundation falling apart. In order for something else to uh, come into play that's better for you. And again, I would say it's the ultimate design of the universe wanting you to find your best purpose. And so whatever isn't working needs to go. And the drama of this card, the lightning, the blast, <laughs> the people falling, it's quite dramatic. And again, it can be a shock. It can be a big surprise. It can disrupt the routine of your life. But this disruption may be necessary, particularly when we're thinking about judgment, if we're thinking about second chances, when we're thinking about new ideas. Now, next to the tower is the five of cups. And so the five of cups is often a card of disappointment. It can be a card of regret. And it seems to me that it's a natural, it's a natural feeling that when there's a disruption within your life, when there's a foundation that is changing, that's being altered, where something new is going to come in place, it may take time to deal with that. The five of cups, you may feel wistful for what was. Your head may be in the space of the past and thinking, hmm, what am I doing here? But if you look at this feeling of feeling trapped, something's got to go. You know, something has to move. This, this shock of the tower may be the, the freedom to allow you to feel that you can take that first step. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy. And again, the five of cups, you see that this person is looking at the cups that have spilled behind this person are two cups that are full. It's counting the blessings that you have. Despite the drama or whatever's happening within your life, or if you feel disappointment, if you feel let down, if you feel that things haven't quite worked out the way that you'd hoped they did, would. Focus on the blessings that you have. That will carry you through. So interesting cards with our major arcana of the judgment and the tower. 
two big ideas for the week, which is a call, a call to you thinking about, is this all there is? What can I do to get to this level that I want to be at? And the tower sweeping in to say, things are going to change and they may happen quickly. And the way that you live is going to change as well. Ultimately, once we get past the sadness or the regret, regret, and we think about what we do have, then that's the upswing and the better foundation will be in place for you to become your best self. So interesting cards. Let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards, and this will be an affirmation for the week. Great adventure, take a risk, venture forward. So we may look at this card, we may think of judgment, which is in the back of our minds, the, you know, what we hope to bring in into our life. And it may be a, taking a risk, venturing forward. You may be put in a position where you have to do that regardless with the tower. Taking a risk can, again, have great reward. One never knows until they try. But again, uh, you, you get past the five of cups, you process the sense of loss or regret, and y you, you never know what will happen. Let's choose a final card, oracle card for love. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love, purpose. And again, the purpose is to find your purpose in life that uh, makes you feel alive, makes you feel that you're contributing to the world, that you matter. And judgment is a big part of that, of finding your true purpose, your best self demonstrating love, consciously demonstrating love, the purpose perhaps for all, and it all circles back to love. So that's what I have for you. I hope you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.